All right. So today I got a fantastic optimal human performance tip just for you. This is Dr. Michael Van, and today we're going to be talking about the best way, the singular best way, in my opinion, to biohack your fast, to enhance the benefits of your fast. And first of all, when we're looking at fasting in general, the popular fasting benefits that are really, you know, really popularized today is it enhances fat burning. We all know this. It increases autophagy, getting rid of cellular junk in your body, cellular recycling, getting rid of cellular waste products. It also enhances ketosis, utilizing ketones for fuel, a very clean fuel source. And it also improves your insulin sensitivity, your glucose tolerance, as well as increases and enhances mitochondrial biogenesis. So increasing more mitochondria, those energy producers in your body. And so we know that fasting has many benefits, but what's one substance out there that actually you can consume that enhances those benefits we just talked about? And I'll give you a hint. I'm drinking it right now. And what that is, is it's coffee. Coffee is the single, singular substance that actually can enhance the benefits of your fast. And we're gonna be posting a lot, I'm gonna be posting a few research links so you can check them out. But one of my favorite things is that coffee, coffee has actually been proven to accelerate fat burning. Yeah, coffee actually stimulates fat burning. It actually increases your body's utilization of fatty acids in your body. So it helps with things like ketosis, with fat burning, with improving glucose tolerance, everything. And another thing coffee has been shown to do is it improves your insulin sensitivity. So coffee is actually gonna improve your body's ability to utilize insulin, you know, preventing insulin resistance, which is just all so common in today's world and the, you know, the comparison and the really the relatability to all these chronic diseases out there. And another benefit coffee does that actually biohacks or enhances your fast is that it activates an enzyme called the AMPK pathway. And AMPK basically is an enzyme that inhibits or blocks your body's ability to store fat in your body. And so again, it's just promoting more of this fat burning effect in your body, exactly what fasting does. And so that's why fasting and coffee mix so well together. And so obviously when you're looking at coffee, it seems like it enhances the benefits of fasting, you know, quite well, but it actually goes even further. And this is some research I just found that coffee actually has been proven to enhance cellular autophagy as well. Coffee by itself improves your body's ability to clean out cellular waste products, which is absolutely mind blowing. That is, that is so awesome. So when you're looking at the main benefits of fasting, coffee by itself seems to offer those exact same benefits. So when you're looking for something to do to enhance your fast, you know, really look no further than coffee. And that's assuming you're not sensitive to caffeine and things of that nature. But we also got to look at both sides. And there is a scientist, Dr. Sachin Panda. He's absolutely amazing. I love his work on time-restricted eating. But he argues, and it's important to look at all sides here, he argues that anything besides water has to be metabolized in your body. Tea, coffee, supplements, anything, which therefore is going to disrupt your circadian rhythm, which therefore will disrupt or break your fast. Now, this is the work by Dr. Sachin Panda. And it's important to note that I'm not a scientist. I look at the research, but I'm not actually the one conducting experiment, you know, experience, experiments, uh, you know, doing these research studies. I'm not doing these things. I'm just looking at all the available data and basically coming up with conclusions that is scientifically proven that makes sense. Now, if you're doing fasting for the specific reason of kind of resetting your circadian rhythms, getting your circadian rhythms in check again, getting your sleep-wake cycles stabilized, then coffee may not be your best option to do. It may not because coffee can disrupt your circadian rhythm. You know, it, it, it has caffeine, so it's, it gives your body a stimulatory effect. However, in the morning when you're drinking coffee, naturally in the morning, you already have a spike of cortisol in the morning, a natural spike in cortisol, which causes your body to help you wake up. So consuming coffee in the morning, in my opinion, 
actually won't really disrupt your circadian rhythm compared to drinking coffee later in the afternoon, per se. Especially when you're looking at caffeine and its half-life of about six hours, you want to avoid those later afternoon coffee drinking. But in the morning, I don't see how it really can disrupt your circadian rhythm based on you already have that natural cortisol spike in the body. So in conclusion, as you can see, coffee is not only beneficial in terms of its nutritional standpoint due to its high antioxidant and high po polyphenol content. So we all know coffee is great for you, but it also seems to really enhance your fasting in the major categories that also makes fasting beneficial. So if you're looking for some way to enhance your fast, then definitely look no further than an organic, you know, organic fair trade coffee. And that's exactly what I drink. And and I only try to do it in the morning, but the later afternoon shown by Dr. Sachin Panda may not be the best idea for you. So I hope you enjoyed this optimal human performance tip. I will see you guys later. Dr. Van out.